Baltimore Orioles franchise on MLB The Show. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. It's the Orioles going out to Houston to take on the Astros in a quote-unquote live broadcast version of the series here. As I'm a little behind on recording, so I'm going to just do one live. I can get a post up a lot faster this way than I can playing two games editing and doing commentary so here we go it's Forrest Whitley going for the uh, Astros he's got 14 wins he's only started 16 games so they must have moved him into the rotation part way through the season he doesn't give up a lot of hits but he does give up a fair amount of walks a 1.33 whip though is pretty good so we're gonna have to be uh, pretty efficient at the plate let's see 96 87 82 um, that's quite a pitch mix, and with that hard fastball, it's not going to be easy to, you know, um, hit him all over the ballpark because even the drop in speed from the fastball to the slider could be a challenge where I'll be out in front of it enough that I'm not going to hit it very well. And then he's got a curve and, oh, hang on, 96 down. And I'm out in front of it. Dang it. Side, but, it's well uh, but the change in speed all the way from the curve and change to the fastball is so significant that that swing and miss stuff. Now, I picked that up pretty well, actually, but just got under it. So we'll take a look at our lineup in this one. Noteworthy uh, tidbits here. Ryan Montcastle is starting to swing the bat a little bit better. Um, Jorge Colon is a machine, hitting 344, and he's on fire. Jemai Jones still struggling at the plate. Um, but I'll take him hitting 211 with decent power over Pat Valaika hitting 250 with decent power because Jones has speed and better defense. So that's kind of the thinking on that front. At least against um, righties. So against lefties, Valaika is definitely in the lineup. Have the confidence to go in, pound it inside. If he's got that, this ah, dang it! That's a tough, tough pitch. All right, we're gonna take that away. Ooh, ooh. So about 87 miles an hour down here. Go! Oh man! Dang it! It's all right. We're putting good swings on it so far. He might fall in the oh, second in the American League, Corey Seager, in home runs. I wonder who he's behind. Is this Trout? I think he was leading earlier this season. Um, but if he falls in love with that slider, the challenge becomes I need to kind of start sitting on it uh, when I'm behind in the count. And then if he throws the curve or change up, I'm just absolute toast. Like, forget it. It's a lot easier to hit putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job. I don't know. I mean, I'm not super confident in my ability to hit a guy like this consistently unless he's making a lot of mistakes down the middle. Um, or out of the zone with non-competitive pitches like that. So four-pitch walk is always good. Yeah, Montcastle 10 for 22 over his last five games. So he's swinging the stick pretty well. Still a disappointing season for him. You know, he's been pretty good for me in the previous two seasons. I mean, that's close. I guess I can understand that call, but it still sucks. Throw it again to get it down. Okay, okay. That's a ball. Ball that time if he locates that zone. consistently in that Senior part of the zone, the I'll be okay. As long as I'm looking for it, obviously. Ah, dang it. Late. <laughs> Excuse me. If the offense didn't already know. All right. Man Taking away that slider, going contact swing right here. There it is. That helps when it's predictable like that. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch. 
after he got jammed Come early. on, baby. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try Still to get that contact outside swing. corner. No, I'm not. Pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over. Yes. Yeah, get to third, Seeger. Got to hurry. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Okay, he's in. Now it's so now two out, out, two on. And, and two we've got the pitch count at 16 already. Still not out of the first. That's key because a guy like this, like see that pitch right there, kind of over the middle of the plate, and I hit it hard. That's what I need. I'm okay swinging at that. It was a little bit down, but as long as I, you know, basically I was trying to either hit it foul or right down the right field line for a double. Ah, dang it. Good check. Now I'm in trouble. Uh, he doesn't have to give in with the I'm going to take away hit. curve down and away this time. So he has to focus on a little bit late. That's okay. Right here. Now I think he's going to go to the slider. Do it. Come on, Trey. Oh, and two. Here it is. Change up. That was filthy. Dang it. Wasn't really that bad of a swing. It was just a really good pitch. All right, so we have Grayson Rodriguez. Grayson Rodriguez. You know, we've talked about him every time. Basically, if he's throwing strikes and he's throwing good strikes, he's really tough. But his command is super inconsistent to the point where it's his definite weakness. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. All right, throw that slider again. That was a pretty good pitch. Uh -oh. Missed with my location, but it's still a good, turned out to be a, a pretty good pitch. Miss high with this, if anything. It's okay. It's really good location. Now back to the slider. That was a very late swing. So, I'm going back up and in with a fastball. For a strike. Jammed it. All right. Jones. Good start. Location was pretty good for the most part. That one slider kind of got away from me. I don't care about their lineup. We kind of know who to look out for on this team. Although it's been a few years, maybe we really don't. In fact, I don't even know who that was that just batted. Who was that? Oh, whatever. So Alvarez. Okay, so he's got 37 home runs, so that's who we're chasing. He's just one ahead of Seager, so. That's a good pitch, Blue. Go give me that, man. That's all right. I'm okay missing down and away. Don't give him anything too good here. Go two seam down and away. Stay down there. Don't come up or in. Just one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big number. Get it down a little bit. Go to the change up here. See if we can't get him swinging out in front of something. Ooh, dang it. Surprised he went the other way with that. Turn and fire. You can get him here. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, so that was a mistake in location. And now we've got Bregman up. And Kyle Tucker on deck, or, which isn't a huge, you know, incentive to pitch around Bregman, basically. He's still a pretty good hitter, and he's left-handed. I like this matchup a little bit better. Dang it. Uh, this is a test pitch here. Got to locate. Dang it. Two balls and a strike. Two seam down and in he wants. All right, so he's early on that. Locate something off speed. He wants a slider. Let's go. God, that's filthy, and he freaking lays off of it. I'm not throwing him a fastball. He's been out in front of everything. That's okay. Pitch count's getting up there already, but... It's okay. The first inning is one that, you know, your primary objective is just don't give up a run. If it's a little bit of a rocky start, but you manage to get through it, sometimes that's just as good as a 
one, two, three, quick inning or whatever. Because it's a little bit deflating for the offense. Dude, throw a freaking strike. This is his problem, though. He just inconsistent throwing strikes. 2-2. Two, two. He was late on that, so... This is again. <sighs> two walks already. And a changeup right down the middle that he's lucky he wasn't a home run. Dang it! Come on, get him at the plate here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! All right. So they only got one, but at least we escaped with minimal damage. But two hits, two walks. He has not been sharp. That ball was a rocket. All right. Oh, yeah, I know he's good. good. So they got the shift on here. Come on! He's given him that twice now on the corners, and I didn't get the one pitch that was pretty darn well located. It might have been low that he was calling it, but bottom line is he's gotten two close calls go his way, and I've gotten none. A little bit late there, but that's understandable when it's 0-2. It's hard to... Be early on a fastball that's 96 when he's got an 82 mile an hour changeup. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting good eye. All right, now slider. Nope, he's gotten away from that slider all of a sudden. Get through. Nope, forgot they were in there. Shift right at him. Not a bad at bat though. Adley Rutschman, how's his average? 279 with seven homers for a catcher, as young as he is. If he can keep the average over 270 for the season, I'd be thrilled. Get me 10 or 15 homers. 15 is probably a stretch at this point. Hey, D -Row, you better be ready Which is kind of surprising, honestly. Just a little bit late picking that up. But Rutschman has decent power. Look at his numbers, guys. A 908 OPS as a rookie and 27 stolen bases. I wonder if I could consider trying to get him in the race for the batting title by just playing him every day. I wonder how close he is in terms of having enough plate appearances to qualify. Although I think it, I don't know if it's plate appearances or at bats. I think it's like 3.1 plate appearances per team game to qualify. Something weird like that. Several inches below the zone, in fact. Uh, change up down. So far here with two nope. away. Probably a fastball here. One, two, three, at least make the guy ah, a little bit late. He's That's okay. That. He's even That's okay. Into a good I'm going to sit on that change up. He's kind of liking it right now. Nice. Dang it. I moved the PCI up and away, and then it just snapped down on me, so. All right, that's okay. Still a one-run game. I just can't find the timing on his release point. That's part of the problem when I pitch with him. And I don't know if that's really, like, me as much as it is, like, okay, he's got bad control. So they, you know, the game makes it harder to get it on as far as the timing, but that was a good location there. You don't want to be in the zone. You want to be off the plate. That was a good pitch. But you got to throw your fastball, a straight fastball should be a strike like 60 to 70% of the time. 
overthrew the first one a little bit. And he's bit, just, he's not even doing that. Like, that ball. And one some of them right are now. not two even three. close. That one and two now. That's just killing me. Oh, like, how do you lay off of that? that one, but he did, like, he's getting a fastball down and in if he lays off of that pitch. Dang it! Throw it first strike! Dude! Now he's out in front of that. Can I throw? I'm going to throw a curve. I haven't thrown it yet. Come on, baby. Not even. Freaking. Curve! Three walks. He's out. A good throw, and he's out by a foot. Come on, Rutschman. Dang it. He didn't even have that good of a jump. Get him. All right, good. What? What? What is he doing? What? Look at this. This is a ground ball to second base. And Mott Castle just like, hey, what's going on? What the hell is that? And it, wait, they don't call it a hit, but they also don't call it an error? Are you kidding me? What do you call it then? First pitch of the AB now. He should have been out by 10 feet. He just didn't cover first, and they don't give him an error. Some BS, and now speed coming out of the box. I don't even know if we can turn two here. Come home with it. No, he was out! I wouldn't have had to have gone home if Mont Castle didn't suck. Do I have anybody else on the bench that can play first base? Because um, I'm going to do it. you got to be kidding me. I don't, and I can't move, wait, I can move Chris Bryant to first. I'm doing this. He is coming out of the game. F him, he hasn't been hitting, he's done. Take a seat. So now we need to switch these two. Yep. Oh, come on! We're going to get clobbered in this game. And Valaika's like not even ready to tag him there! What is going on? Look at this! Okay. Valaika, you're in because he wasn't paying attention. Here comes a throw. I'm just like, ho hum. Oh, wait, there's a guy coming. Maybe I should try and tag him. Oh, my gosh. This game is broken. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. I've never had either of those scenarios happen in all of my years of playing MLB The Show, and they happen back to back. And I should have looked at the play at the plate to see if he was really out, because I think he was. This, this game is getting out of control. All right, Rodriguez is done. One run is, Here's a is he going to be ready to tag him? Tag is there and he's out to score the I don't even care. I mean, he's getting rocked. We're going to get Pablo Navarro ready. He gets one more base runner. Great job to get the ball there in time so the catcher could reach across and slap the tag on him. Now time is called, and this might be the by level time for that. I thought that was going to be a home run. That was not a very good location. Try a curve here. Finally got somebody to chase something. But then he lays off of that. Awesome. Fastball up and away, huh? Here comes the one-two. Nope. 
Lays off. Lays off. Fouls it off. How was his timing? Early. Come with a slider. Not even, not even a good location. That's his last batter. He's done. He doesn't have it today. He's all over the freaking place. The game is getting away from us. It's this is like pulling your, you know, changing goalies early in a game in the NHL. It's one of those where you're just doing it, or like firing your your coach halfway through the season. Sometimes teams will do it just hoping it creates a spark that uh, gets your team going. So he is going to go into the game to start next inning. Now let's just start chipping away on offense, hoping that we can creep back into this thing. But it starts right now. Like we've got to be selective at the plate. Don't be pressing, trying to make too much happen because we need at least four runs. You know what I mean? All right, there's that freaking changeup again. Throw a curve down and away. Nope. Fastball, come on. Strike two. <laughs> Got to take that away now. Come on, Jones. Get through. Dang it. That pitch was very hittable. Good swing timing just on top of it. It's okay. I don't care about that. I know him in first place. The team has been playing really good ball uh, pretty much since the All-Star break. So we are comfortably out in front in the AL East now. I think by like seven or eight games. Well, he's, he's gone from using the slider a ton to using the changeup. He's got me off balance. Two balls That's high, good eye. Two, one. Come on, throw the change up down. Fastball. Let's go. Another slider, and he gets me off the end of the bat. Get down. Dang it. He's just, he's pitching well. He's, you know, he's smart. He's not making very many mistakes. He threw Dickerson three straight sliders down and in last time. Starts him with the changeup. Right down the freaking middle, too. Dang. A little bit late. Get down! Dang it! That was a hanger. I just picked it up a second too late. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in. No, I don't need to check in with Heidi Watney. I want my pitcher to come in here. Yeah. Point six five ERA. He's got that down to a respectable number, but he was really bad early in the season and has been better of late. I need him to be very good in this one. We can't afford, you know, another run or two in this inning, or like emotionally, you're just crushed. Throw a freaking strike! You gotta be kidding me! Throw it right down the middle. No strike. Even that's off in location. Uh. No, not throwing a splitter when I can't even throw a four seam for a strike. All right, that's big. Get him settled in. Now you got the bottom part of the order here. Just throw strikes. It's off the plate, but got him to chase. That's okay. That's also a very good pitch. I'm okay with that. Okay, going fastball up and away. Nice pitch. What do you want here? He wants a splitter, but I'm going to go to a changeup. Similar pitch. That's a really good location. He's early on it. Yep, 
I like the slider. Got him nice. Swinging. That was a very well pitched at bat. Come on, give me like five or six really good innings. Bridge the gap all the way to the end of the game and keep us in it. Give us a chance to close the gap without it getting larger. That would be key to our chances of success in this game. All right. Let's go get that out of the way. Holy crap, are you serious? Dude. All right. Okay, just remain calm. <laughs> Change up. Nope, fastball. Go! Do not catch that. Okay. Man, that was a hanger. I thought that ball was going to get out of here. But he must have just missed it. Doubles leaders. Where are we? Third. That's pretty good. Yeah, just a little bit late on that. If that would have been the curve, that ball was hitting the freaking flagpole out there. I thought he was going to call that a strike. All right, Velika. Take advantage of this opportunity, dude. Show me that you can hit righties. Although he hit a home run against a righty the other day, didn't he? Against the Angels, I think he hit one. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy. So, working around a guy. If he can hit righties, as much as I like Jamai Jones and what he has done in the previous couple of seasons, I think we need to consider Palaika as the everyday starter this year. High in the air, down the right That's going to at least move him up. A little bit late on that, but pretty good contact. And now a sack fly, or a ground ball past the pitcher. We score. It's Trey freaking Mancini, who is a strikeout machine. I'm sitting on that change up down. He's not getting away with just floating one in there. Yeah. I see what you're up to. Doing it again. Just in case, but we're ready for a fastball. Dang it! One ball, one Just strike. late. Uh. Curve down and away. Nope. Dang it! Do not strike out. I know he fouled that pitch off right there. Got to go contact swing here. He was oh, he no, you know. No question about it. Swing and a shot Score. Right Score. Oh, yeah. Right okay. We're third. on the board, and we've got some hard contact in the, in the, uh, Boy, this one in like the you know. We've hit him hard a couple of times. That ball was really squared up. He does end up getting a sacrifice. Just right at him. No, no, I barely even touched the butt. <laughs> Come on with this. Hey, this is exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes. The bottom line is Dang it, I thought that was going to be the curve and go low. Throw that again, get it a little farther away. No, we're in trouble here. Went in with it. Taking that away, down and away. No. Come on, baby. Outside. outside. All right, we battled it back to even. Just he's not going back to that slider. Curve, good swing. Really good swing. Out in front of it, just a little bit, but that's understandable when you're protected against the fastball. I recognized it. Tried to check. Just couldn't happen. No errors. That's all right. We're on the board. Let's get another strong inning from Navarro here. You can't let them get that run back. This is our chance to swing the momentum a little bit. Get back in the game. Good start. All right. 
Fastball down the way to start. Good pitch. Uh, no, not another one. Let's go to a changeup. Good pitch. A little bit more over the middle of the plate than I like, but it was down. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That's one filthy. Ball, strikes, That's down. a good pitch. I'm all right with that. Now that we've gone down and away three times in a row, I like where your head's at, Adley Rutschman. I want it in a little bit more than where you were saying. Nope, inside. Ball. Dude, he has been giving him those calls on the corner. Errors in the ball game for the Astros. I'm going right back in there. You got to be kidding me. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so... Unbelievable! From this umpire. Three and two. Change up. And, and he, he takes it. Four, so Un-freaking believable! We had him struck out twice! And I don't get either call. And then he gives me that on the first pitch instead of when it's for strike three. What a joke. And, and that one on the corner gets the call. <laughs> what is going on? Wow. Three pitches. You can go sit down. All right, let's get a double play. Go hit. Watch for a hit and run. Good pitch. A little bit too much of the plate, but that's okay. Change up. No, get him, get him, get him. Unfreaking believable. You know the pitch is going to be down, Rutschman. you got to keep that close enough. Oh, no. All right, we're going to catch that. So it's going to be two outs. Oh, that was the third out? Why was I thinking that was the second out? I was like, why isn't he throwing it? <laughs> All right. So we got out of that unscathed. I was talking about keeping the double play in order, and there were already two outs. All right. Let's get another run this inning. Cut the lead down to two. And we're halfway back. I need probably at least three more innings out of Navarro, I would imagine. Change up. Nope. Dang, that's a good swing. Good timing, and the PCI was just above it a little bit. How does he not at least foul that off? Get through. All right, he's going to beat that out. Yes! That is a good job with two strikes. Stays back on the curve, hits it hard. That was a contact swing, as you can see by the big circle on the PCI. Come on, Jorge Colon. I could use a freaking ball in the gap right here. I'm ready for that changeup if he tries to get cute with it. Come on, baby. Nope. Outside. Still taking away that changeup. It's his favorite pitch right now. Leave it over the middle of the plate. Nope. He did, but it was up. Dang it. I thought I had a pitch to hammer. Throw it again, get it down a little bit, though. Nope. Get, in. get off the wall. Get off the wall. Dang it! God, that ball's in the air forever. He ran a long way to get to that. And took a darn near perfect route. Yep, look at that. Oh. Now it's up to freaking Jemai Jones. Although it's only one out. I'm thinking about... Potentially, if we get a decent count for it, I might try a hit and run here. Let's do a change up down. He's selected. No, I don't even think I can get to third there. I might have been able to make it, but it's not worth testing it, running yourself out of an inning. 
We got top of the order due up now, first and second. And Hayes has some power. Leave him, leave a curve over the middle. Nope. Outside. If he leaves a change up where he did with Jones, but a little bit higher, it could be a three-run homer. Who's on deck? Uh, Corey Dixon. So be selective here. If it's not the change up down, we're taking. Take. Throws it right down the middle. That's okay. It's okay. Change up down. Let's go. Same thing. Dang it, just a little bit late there. Come on. Oh, I recognized it late and was just trying to foul it off. That's a freaking ridiculous pitch. That starts like at my head and breaks into the zone. Uh, I'm going to keep sitting on the change up down. That's the pitch that I know I can do damage on, and he's throwing enough of them that I you know, kind of just feel good about taking a chance of getting one. Ah, stupid. Helped him out. One and one. Late on that fastball, though. Come on. Dang it! Moves to a ball and two strikes now. <sighs> That's a pitch I should have hit. Let him get away with it. The one two is a wave and a miss. Ugly. Struck him out. <sighs> Just thinking about that stupid curve too much. Keep him out of danger. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Dang it. That's all right. I mean, we had a chance there. Let it slip by, but one inning at a time. This is a big inning. Got the heart of their order due up. And coming off an inning where we stranded some runners. Got to try and get a zero here. Then we've got two, three, four due up next inning. If we can get to their bullpen, maybe we get against a guy where we like the, you know, the stuff a little better. We'll see. I don't know what kind of uh, stamina Forrest Whitley's got. Pitch. Get that away a little bit more, though. Uh, I like just kind of trying to catch him off guard. One. You gotta be kidding me! Unfreaking believable! That pitch is 100% a strike. This umpire is killing me. The game is killing me. Cost me a run or two. In fact, okay, so yeah, I think that stupid play at first base cost me like three runs. Didn't it? Because I would have been out of the inning on the play where I tried to go home with it, and they scored the first run that inning, and then they hit a ball in the gap that I believe scored two more. So it would be a tie game if not for that garbage. And I feel bad, honestly, for Rodriguez, because if you take that stupid play away, He's probably not out of the game. Although, he, I mean, he wasn't pitching very well regardless, but his numbers are going to look worse than they really were because they didn't give uh, Montcastle an error on that play. But whatever. Dang it! Out in front of it just a little bit, but that's a pitch that I'm okay swinging at. I mean, you just got to... Square it up. He's starting to get a little bit tired, but enough to get through this inning, probably. I need Valaika to get on here and then get a two-run homer. Ooh. How about a solo homer? Go. That was a power swing. Yes! That's my man. In the game, 
for Ryan Montcastle, who can just keep his ass on the pine for now. So that was huge. Field, that ball was a and rocket. All right. Make it back to back here. He, Boy, look, he threw him three change-ups last time. Oh, dang it. That's not a bad swing. I just missed it. Timing was pretty good. Fastball. A little bit late. Dang it. Uh, Nasty. Dang it. That was a really good pitch. Looks like a fastball down and in. Alright. Come on! Right freaking at him! Alright. Four to two. We're in this. Navarro doing a great job so far. Oh, dude, give me two more innings. Pitch count's not an issue yet. But we should keep an eye on his stamina because he's a little bit low, honestly, for just 39 pitches. What's that about? Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. Ball one. Strike. Yeah, let him know it. We're tired of it, Blue. Good pitch. Four strikes on him. Start with a fastball for a strike. Yeah, he, Navarro is, is feeling good right now. Release timing is solid. His location is good. Get this off the plate. Nasty! Now we have the momentum. Get this guy. Make it a 1-2-3. I don't know if they send Whitley back out there or not. Dang it. All of a sudden, I can't find the release point. There it is. He's early on that, so give us... Yep, I like it. Slider. How's the timing there? Still early, so... How about a changeup? Ah, oh, he left it up. Cut it off and get him in a second. Come on. Get him. Ah! Good throw would have had him. That's a tough play, though. He's, you know, going away from second, had to spin and throw. That's hard to make an accurate throw. Adam Frazier is on the Astros. Uh, speaking of which, he was traded recently from the Pirates. And I have a, so I'm a, I'm a Western PA native, but I'm done with the Pirates. Like it's, their, their owners just want to lose because they know they can make as much money or more just being terrible and having a low payroll and taking the revenue share versus trying to spend a hundred million or 80 million to be competitive but not have a realistic shot at the at a World Series. Like, it's it's so frustrating. They don't want to win. All right, I'm going to pause here because my recording is probably getting a little bit long. Uh, 92, 88, 40. Uh, 92, 88, 80. 92, 80. 92, 80. 92, 80. So, as long as the slider doesn't have a ton of movement, I think I can hit this dude. A little bit late there, but that's a pretty good swing. I know that fastball registered at about 92. Uh, taking away the curve now. Again, a little bit late. I wasn't expecting that pitch up. Lucky that he even fouled that off with that swing. It's better, but now he's got me out in front of a fastball. That could be troublesome. And then he comes back with it again and jammed me. I was 
just sort of anticipating something off speed there, honestly. It's all right, though. Cologne gets on, it's as good as a double, because he's going to steal second. Going to happen. That's assuming he's not already on second. He's hitting over 400 against lefties. Now, his attributes against left-handed pitching are not very good, but he's getting the job done. So maybe he's just one of those guys, or maybe he's just having a crazy good year, but he could be one of those players that, like, just absolutely explodes as far as their ratings and their performance or whatever. How long was he, like 25? All right. And I got him in free agency after the first season. I don't even know how he was there. That's a good hit right there. Picked up the slider. A little bit inside out on it, but hit it hard. And now, with the leadoff guy up, speed at first. This is a definite steal situation. They know it. So we got to be a little bit strategic about when we go, if we go. So 90, what is it, 92? 84-ish. Come on, baby. Austin Hayes, the next Inside. All right. I want to get him to like 2 and 1, maybe. Or 2 and 2, even. All right. This is a big pitch right here. Uh, throw that again. Get it down and away. Oh, kick away. All right, I think I'm going to send him here. I don't think he comes back with another slider. So, get you a lead and get a jump. Yeah, he's got it stolen. Dang it, that was a good pitch, though. you got to swing at that. I'm sending him again. A little bit late. Get down. Get down. Dang it. <sighs> Another opportunity by the wayside. All right, so 4-2 at the stretch. So Navarro is in a position to hopefully just get me through this inning and then I can, you know, call it. Yeah, it says he's getting tired. He's only at 53 pitches, so there's something wrong with the mechanics as far as stamina for relievers if that's happening. If that should happen. 54 pitches, he should still be fine. He's got decent stamina ratings. But, whatever. Give me one more inning, dude. He's really not getting that tired yet. Round ball, right side. Bryant is up All right, two up, two down. Get me Alvarez here. This would be a big out. Hey, now he gives me the call. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. That's a really good pitch. I'm going to try a, yeah. I like something in here. I haven't thrown in anything in all day. And he freaking lays off of it. Dang it. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Not the greatest location there. He's gone the other way on me twice. Now, I mean, that pitch was down in the way, so it kind of makes sense, but it's a dead pull hitter. Come on, you got to get out of this inning. I should probably get somebody loose here. Uh, let's go with Dylan Tate. Yeah. Nasty. Come on. Hey, with first base open, pitchers definitely ah! try and see if the hitter expands his own. 
Good location. Do it again. Uh-oh. Left it up a little bit. I mean, it's still down in the zone, but it was in the zone. He did a fantastic job, though, for me. Five shutout innings from him in relief. Johnny Chesick making his debut here. Maybe his MLB debut in the eighth inning? That's in of a tight game. That's kind of interesting. So Tucker hits lefties better than he hits righties. Um, if he tries to cheat to something this and evening. so do the next two batters. So Dylan Tate, you know what? No, I want Iglesias. Yeah. And you're gonna go. You're gonna go ahead and come straight into the game. Because if we don't tie it, it's the last inning we have anybody pitch anyway. Um. So, all right. 96, 89, 84 but no idea if he's got good command or not. So, First pitch of the he's selective. Pretty the well located the there. Uh, change up? On deck, no. But it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on get the out of here! Yeah, that has to be his mentality. God, come on! Be the hero. Man, would that have been a welcome Man, to the majors the moment. Two pitches give up a dinger. Man, that was a pitch to Hammer. When we left the bat, I thought it was gone. Sorry for the uh, emotional reaction there. Swinging it in your ear, but thought I had a home run. Change up. Okay, that's low. Taking that pitch away. Outside. Still taking away the change up down. Be selective here. No, I tried to check. That is filthy. Uh, change up. Nope. He did throw it, but he left it up. How was I under that? Yes. That was a rocket. All right. Home run will tie it. And it's Pavelika time. Can he clutch up for a second time? Outside. Ooh, finally how the tables have turned. Umpire has finally gotten the message that we're not going to stand for this garbage. Oh, and now side we're side getting side the close calls, the and they are not. These are the moments that don't always show up. Come on, on make a mistake. Right Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in. Stupid. Right back in this game. If not, he grounds into a double play. I gotta take that away. Okay. That's three and three. one. I'm taking away slider down and away. Now a ball in the gap can tie it. No, I'm not going to pinch run for the lead runner. Wait, it's my best hitter. If we go to extras, I'm not going to have Bobby Witt out there back third. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Maddie. Gotta find a way. Can't go Inside. down. Inside. I don't care if you're staring. Oh, you're Trey Mancini, do it one time, my man. To make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Take him deep. Ready with the one -oh pitch. Inside. Dang it. Well, good pitch. Well, been searching for that big hit. Pretty much all Slider. Game. It remains to be seen nope. if they can get it. But now would be a great time. Get out of here! That's what I'm talking about! Get you some! Oh my goodness! Hung a slider. I was looking for it down and away. He left it right down the freaking middle. Trey Mancini. Oh, that was massive. I got goosebumps now. Crushed. Where? How deep? How far was that? How far did he hit that ball? Look where this ball goes. It left the freaking yard. I want to replay.
no way that was only 396 feet. No freaking way. Look where this goes. I want, like, from an angle. Okay, it's 315 to the corner for some perspective. Look where this ball goes. I mean, the outfielders did not even budge. And wait for it. Well, where's the ball? Look at that. That's out of the freaking stadium by a long shot. How do I? I want to rotate. Oh, can I zoom out? And still see? Oh, dang it. I want to see. Oh, rats. <laughs> look, but look where that ball goes, guys. I mean, that's way, way out of here. No way that was only... 396 feet. He broke the freaking distance measurement or whatever because that ball was at least 450. <sighs> that was freaking awesome. All right. 95 miles an hour sinkers from this guy. That's pretty much all we look for because everything is hard and it's likely to be moving downward. So. That's all you gotta know. Ah, chasing high, idiot. I have, uh, yeah, he's scheduled to pitch. Oh, God, would this be a huge win? Somebody's calling me. It's spam, though. Stop. That's the heavy uh, taking away right the change or the slider. To get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations. And he, he throws it up and away. No one on base that he's he's right back to the crap. One of the toughest pitches to hit. All right. Two outs. Oh. Emotional roller coaster this game. If we end up losing, oh, I don't know if my heart can take it. Uh, get that down and in. Nope. Here's the Outside. Right. One ball, one strike. Get on Two again here, no Rutschman, and let's put some pressure on them. Ah! It's a good swing, just out in front of it a little bit. Here comes the one-two. And another foul. So I'm early on the sinker. That's we gotta adjust for that. Next one, two pitch. Chased, chased it. it. That was a dirt. splitter, too, I think. Recovers. That's all right. We've got the lead. We have one of the best closers in baseball. But the Orioles push it. <sighs> this inning is huge. Is it going to be the bottom of their order? Right? Or no, it'll be four, five, six, I think. Didn't we get, or no, five, six, seven. Because Alvarez got on, and then we got Bregman to ground out. So this is key. Bottom of inning number eight. If I can get through this inning one, two, three, then we've got eight, nine, one due up next inning. So one pitch, one out. That wasn't a great pitch, but it got the job done. Let's go, baby. That's all right. I'd rather you miss out of the zone than over the plate like that first pitch. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right now. Here it comes on one and one. Nasty. He's out in front of that. Throw it again. Get it away. And he struck out again. That's the third time. It wasn't a very good release point, but he still got it off the plate. What I like about all Throw those that slider again. Get it in for a strike the here. The Ooh! Oh, man. Oh, come on. Got away with it, jammed him, and he still gets on. So that's just sort of like everything balanced out there. Did not make a good pitch, but he got on despite soft contact. They're going for some speed here. I am not letting him get that lead. He's got very good base running skills, but his speed isn't quite, you know, top notch anymore. 
But, yeah, he's taking that lead again. I'm throwing over again. Can't let him get that big lead. What kind of power do we do we have at the plate here? It'd be huge to get him trying to steal because then I'd still have 8-9-1 due up next inning. So I think I'm going to go to a slide step here. Corey Lee digging in now. Dang it. Not even close. Not throwing the slider. Yeah, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Come on, i got to get this game over with. I've got a call coming up in a few minutes. <laughs> I have to probably stop and finish later when I'm all emotionally caught up. My heart rate is 79 at the moment, at the bottom of the order, which is be like key hole in the middle way up from normal. You cannot allow pitches like that to go by. Especially considering, considering I'm not exercising. I'm just fired up. All right. Slider down and away. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. All right. Go back to the fastball. No, he wants a slider. Huh? He's took that big lead again. I'm throwing over. I really want to pick him off. Still wants the slider. Come on, baby. You got to locate this. Swing and a Get foul. Oh, man. That was a pretty good pitch. But he was on it, so. That's certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. Dang it. It's got to get that up. Get him at third. Get him at. Nope. Here's what I'm going to do. Frazier does not hit lefties well. I'm going to get, I should have had him up already. So we'll do this. Then we're going to do a mound visit to give him the time to get ready. And we're going to put him in. Him, him. Your attention, please. This is big. He's been a lot better lately. Still struggles with walks a little bit, but I'm going to use a couple of pitches here to try and make sure he's loose. Get him all the way to where he's quote unquote ready. Yikes. All right, good enough. Come on, baby. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Yeah. Woo! That's huge. Hey, I don't have a Gets me ahead in the right count. Here. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Oh, how do you lay off of that? Opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Yes. Well hit. A ball that's carrying. Oh man, he almost went yard. That is huge. All right. One inning to go. We've got the lead. 8 9 1 due for us, and they have the top of the order. And I've got to take a break because i got to jump on a call for work. Um, let's see if they bring in a new pitcher first. Nope. All right. So we're back. As you can see, I've got Roberto Osuna getting loose in the bullpen. He's going to go in to start, obviously, the, uh, the ninth inning. Um and look for the close. But anyway, let's, let's get after it. Now here's the Be nice to get an insurance run here. I need Cologne to get us going here. Put that sinker down and smoke it back up the middle. Outside. Baby. Sinker down. Nope. Go. High in the air in the shallow left center. Left that would have been the sinker would have been damaged, but he got away with a pretty bad pitch there. Next it'll be All right, Jones two for three today with a couple of singles. Give me that sinker down, my man. Oh, pitch. Slider. No, no, okay. <sighs> Got away with the animation that time. 
That's outside. There we go. All right, two and one. Good for the sinker again. Nope. Ah, out in front of it. Dang it. Uh, all right, got to take away the slider. Let's go. Jammed. Ooh, that's going to get down. Be fair, be fair, be fair. And it's a foul ball. Dang it. All right, new life, though. Get through. Tough play. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, my God. Look at this one again. That was impressive. Because Jones can run. That was a that was an amazing play. That was, oh, my goodness. I can't believe he got him. I thought for sure he had that beat out when he took those couple of steps and had to do the jump throw. That's okay, though. We got Roberto Osuna in the bullpen right now. Now, they've got two, three, four, which means Alvarez, actually top of the order. Alvarez in that three hole is a serious concern, especially if they already have somebody on base. Chasing freaking low. Yeah, if they get to Alvarez with nobody on, I feel a little bit better. 39 of, of 41 in save opportunities, 1.45 ERA. Righties just can't touch him. All right, let's do this. But these first two batters are critical. The Shields has very little power. He just doesn't hit righties very well, period. But 38 power is nothing to be really concerned about. So I like the idea of the fastballs up. Try and get him to hit a fly ball. Now we got him 0-2, and we can do whatever we want. How do you hit that? Throw it again. Okay. Now we got him leaning. Get a guy flailing at a pitch like that. Heck, nope. Dang it. Can lay off of it. Uh, no to the cutter. Go up and away with a fastball. Yep. There we go. Bryant is there. Montcastle That's probably would have missed that. All right. That's a big out. Now back. Here's the second, second baseman, Colton Wall. Colton Wall also oh. doesn't have a ton First of power. Hit. Off the plate ball. Dang it. 46 power is not the kind of number to be too concerned about. Let's go to a change up here. Come on, Blue. All of a sudden, he starts squeezing again. You got to challenge him here. Damn it! That is the one thing you can't do is freaking walk the guy ahead of Alvarez. And now he's going to give me the close call. Where was that on the last batter when I had two close pitches and he didn't give me either? Oh, a backdoor slur. I'm going to try it. That's big. All right. He's ahead of it. Uh, he wants a fastball. I'm going to try it. It's your best pitch. Again, just missing, and they lay off somehow. Filthy. That is a huge strikeout right there. Best hitter on their team. A chance to hit a walk-off. Got him swinging. All right, late on a cutter, so I'm going in with a four seam. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right now. He hammered that one, but hit it foul. 
Now we got him 0 and 2. Strike now for Houston. One ball. No way you lay off that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, that was a hanger. Change up. All right, how was the timing? A bit early. Can you locate the fastball? Dang it! Change up. Oh! Oh, he's lucky that ball's coming back. That was right down the middle with the change up. Off with my release timing all of a sudden. Now we're facing a freaking lefty. And he's got pop. Wow, that's a dangerous pitch. Filthy, got him to finally chase one. Throw this for a strike. Come on. At least get it close. There it is, baby. Huge win. That was a great comeback. Down 4 nothing early, making stupid plays on defense. And we threw two guys out at the plate. That's nothing to forget about because we ended two innings with outfield assists at home. And they just showed you both of them. And that's a big, big swing in that game. Pablo Navarro, five innings, two hits and a walk and struck out five. Definitely deserving of the victory. Johnny Chesick, tough day for the youngster. I think that was his MLB debut. We're going to look that up. He's going to get saddled with the loss after the three-run dinger from Mancini, who drove in four runs on the day. And then Pat Malaika, the home run, coming in for Montcastle. Oh, what a game. Eight hits, two walks, nine strikeouts. Glacius, uh, Mom with, with holds. A challenging save for Osuna, but he got it done. He had nine hits, five walks, nine strikeouts. No dingers, stole a base. Yeah, Chesick, an 81 ERA. Oh, boy. Welcome to the big leagues, my man. <clears throat> tough, tough loss for the Astros and a big comeback win. Before we actually wrap up the episode, we see here Jemai Jones tore his groin. Uh, it was a hit and run. He successfully stole the base, but he is out with a torn groin, probably going to miss the rest of the season, unfortunately. Uh, so that hurts. He hasn't been playing all that well. We're going to plug Pat, Pat Valaika into the lineup in his place. Against um, National League opponents, we're going to give Bobby Witt a try. He'll play short. Seager will play second because Bobby Witt does not play anywhere other than short. And then in terms of who we called up, we went with Jake Shiner. Now, his average there, as you can see, is uh, reflective of what he had done before we actually picked him up in a trade. But the guy's a decent hitter, decent fielder, decent speed. He's a pretty good all-around player, uh, and we should be able to get some uses out of him because he can play uh, the corner infield positions. He also plays second, left, and right. So we'll try and figure out ways to get him involved uh, where we can, um, but he's there as sort of a... Uh, you know, a depth role for, for the time being. So that's uh, the update in terms of the injury front. And I should say that's actually going to do it for this episode. So please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.